there are all these questions that you have talked about, thought about, discoursed about, can a sitting president be indicted? Can a president pardon himself? All of those questions are now you know, on the forefront right. of maybe real. How's that feel well, to you? It feels as though the intellectual complexity of them is secondary to the practical urgency. There's this overhanging sense of doom around it. I mean, it feels like my whole soul is preoccupied with stuff that I would rather not be thinking about all the time. You have a view that uh, the, the Justice Department policy that you cannot indict a sitting president is not merely wrong, I believe, but is itself unconstitutional. I think that's right. It puts the president above the law. Imagine, for example, a president who bribed enough members of the House not to be impeached right. or enough members of the Senate to be ensured that he can't be convicted. In that scenario, saying, oh, well, the remedy for an out-of-control president is impeachment and removal and that's all, effectively gives him a, a blank check to become an autocrat. And so there just is no good case for saying that the president can't possibly be indicted. So you were a man who thinks that Donald Trump is, is a clear and present danger to American democracy. Um, I do. What I find confusing is that a man with your views comes to the position that you're writing articles saying that Americans are too obsessed with impeachment. Well, the reason is that impeachment is not a magic wand. You don't just wave it and then voila, he's not there. You have to worry about what the Senate will do. You have to worry about how the nation will react. About 40% of the people from the very time he was elected president have favored his impeachment. Well, you can't remove a president when only 40% of the people believe that he should be impeached and removed. Therefore, you have to ask, what do we do in that circumstance? Maybe we take advantage of the uprising of political energy and hope for a result in 2020 that overwhelmingly repudiates him. I mean, impeachment isn't the only way to be rid of a terrible president.